Hello and welcome everyone. This is Dipanshu, your host for today's session. I believe each one of you can hear my audio and can see my screen. If yes, can you guys quickly confirm me in the chat that yes, you can hear me and see the screen. Can I have a quick confirmation from each one of you guys? Perfect. Thanks everyone. Thanks for confirming me. Not wasting much of the time. Let's quickly start this particular session about digital marketing orientation class. In this particular class, we will be completely talking about how digital marketing industry is growing, what all opportunity you guys will have. Also, we'll be talking about the various interesting fact about this industry, plus how you guys can become a more effective in digital marketing industry. That is one of the area we will be going to discuss. So quickly, I'm creating agenda with each one of you that what all we are going to cover in this particular session. So the session agenda will be First, we'll be talking about introduction, give you a small introduction about I am skills, me and about digital marketing industry. Then second and third, they are the most important topic that you guys have to pay attention because this is something where you will get the maximum value as a person entering in digital marketing industry. What, why and how digital marketing, how this particular industry run and also right structure to learn it. What will be the right structure that can help you to practically enable yourself in digital marketing domain and gain the maximum result in this particular industry. Fourth and fifth step is something which is really useful again for you guys, how to get jobs in this industry, what is the right way to crack the jobs in this industry, what will be the way to go forward towards the freelancing opportunity and all. And then at the fifth step, we'll be talking about AI in digital marketing. So I believe each one of you heard about AI. If yes, quickly say yes or no in the chat box. Artificial intelligence. Perfect. So you most of you are aware about AI, but the people who are not, we will be discussing about this at the fifth step. You guys will be aware and also able to understand why it is important in digital marketing or any industry. At the sixth step, we'll be talking about a surprise gift, which is for each one of you. And you definitely can read in that after this particular session. Quickly come to the introduction part, guys. I am your host for today's session. My name is Dipanshu Jaiswal. I am heading the marketing at IAM Skills. Along with this, I have, I am go also going to teach you some of the session throughout your training program. If you join our digital marketing program, you will learn marketing automation, AI related sessions, through me, also your web development sessions is also going to be with me. So all these sessions are going to be with me. Plus I have about eight years of experience in digital marketing, as well as I have spent more than 15 years in designing website or developing websites. So you guys able to learn all these like concepts from me throughout your training program. Apart from me, there will be more trainers who will be taking care of their responsibility like teaching you Google ads, teaching you other techniques like Facebook ads and all. So every particular technique will be taken care by the industry expert of that particular skill. Moving forward, if I just talk about how I am skills started and how we have grown in 2015, we just started our digital marketing program. After just starting within a year, we have grown to thousand plus professionals training in digital marketing domain. So within one year, we have almost trained thousand plus professional in digital marketing at that time. And since 2015 to 2018, we have grown to 33 countries. So in just three years, we have crossed more than 33 countries across the world. We have given our training in those countries. And the best part in last year, 2022, we have achieved number one rank by India TV for placing our student in digital marketing domain. So that highest placement record help you guys to understand that what kind of course structure we have, what kind of like placement structure we have that led us toward that particular achievement. And in 2023, we are on the same track, right? 
In 2023, we have also launched AI related digital marketing program where we will be covering all AI based learning or tools which is required to make yourself more proficient in this digital marketing industry. So digital marketing and any other industry you talk about in today's time, AI is impacting them like heavily. So if I talk about digital marketing, there are various digital marketer out there who will be working as a digital marketer. But AI is something which is again disrupting the industry, which is producing like better digital marketer with, you can say the better performances in the industry with, you can say in less amount of time, you can produce more results. So actually to boost your performance, whatever you are doing with traditional skills, it is good. But if you involve or integrate AI into it, that can help you to even produce better results. So that's how AI is evolving in, in the industry. Most of the people right now just talking about AI or thinking about AI, what it is, how it is, but we are just covering those concepts which is helping you actually to move forward in the industry. Quickly creating mission and history in one line only. Mission is something we have, which is provide most affordable education to the industry. So our most of the course you will see, they are approximately half of the price of the others programs available in the industry. Plus history, if I talk about, that we have created this structure after achieving millions of traffic on our various websites. So we ourselves implemented digital for so many years before, and we grown at a level where we have producing millions of visitors on our website through digital marketing, different skills. And once we have that like proven results that yes, we have grown at that level. Then we have launched this particular program, which actually help you guys also to achieve similar kind of results, right? So, that's it about the organization. Let's come to the main discussion, which is going to be fruitful more for you guys, which is who all should join this course. So that is all about the organization till now I have just discussed. Now I just want to get a quick introduction from each one of you. So can I have a just quick confirmation from each one of you? Who are you? Like what is your objective to learn digital marketing? Can you just write in the chat box in single word that whether you are looking for a career or you are looking for a professional growth or you want to be a digital marketing professional you are already and you want to upskill yourself or you are like someone who is on a break and now want to change the career or want to restart the career so let's suppose you are a, or you are a business owner you are a freelancer who are you can you just quickly share with me okay i have getting the reply from Okay, Pallavi is looking for a career change. Veronica is looking for a career. Agam is also looking for a career change. Want to join as a freelancer, Aftab is saying. Shreya is looking for a career. Okay, Arva is looking for a career. Professional growth, want to grow my revenue streams. Okay, housewife looking to start the career. Okay, career changes, growth, career. Perfect. So guys, guys throughout the session, if you have any query, any doubt about the like industry, you definitely can write me here. I try to help you at the same time with your queries. Hi, I am Himani. I have 13 years of experience. I'm looking for this course for career and financial growth. That's great, Himani. Business owner want to upskill, wants to do freelancing as well. Perfect. So I believe you are within these profiles only, right? So either some of you are looking to grow your career, some of you looking to restart the career, some of or you looking to professional growth in digital marketing from your existing stream. And some of you is definitely looking for a freelancing and passive income opportunity. But each one of you, one thing is common in all of you. What is that? Any guesses, guys? In all of you, one thing is very common. Growth, you are saying definitely growth. Everyone is looking for growth. But yes, Digital marketing learning is common in all of you. And the best part, digital marketing learning is not different for each one of you. Whether you are a business owner or you are a freelancer or you are a Hello, Pradam. employee or you are a person who will be taking care of a digital marketing in any organization. So what will be your purpose is to produce result, right? So produce result or like extract result from this industry is something really common in all of you. And if you learn to produce results, then you can achieve all your objectives, right? So if I am a freelancer, if I have to produce results for my client, 
if I'm able to produce results for him, then only I'll get the continuous work from the same person or I'll uh, like recommend it for other people that I am a good freelancer, I produce results. Similar way, if you're producing results for your organization, you grow multiple, you grow higher, you will be led to the position, management and all, right? And similar way, if you're running a business, if you produce results, then only you can make your business grow, right? So in everyone, the one common thing is to learn, produce results, right? And that is the only thing required in this industry. In this industry, you don't require like very, like you can say, higher education for digital marketing or very big certifications or anything. If you're capable of producing results, if you can show anyone that, yes, I am able to produce results, then yes, your job is confirmed, your client is confirmed with you, and for a longer term, it is not for short term. People in this industry are very less who actually can produce results. So if you try to focus to become someone who produce results, you easily able to crack this industry, you easily able to grow more than the other people. Moving forward, one more question from each one of you guys. How many of you know what will be your work as a digital marketer after you gain this skills? So let's suppose you become a digital marketer. So what will be your work in the industry? Why am I asking this question? I'm like giving you a complete understanding on this because if you understand prior, what will be my work? What will be my job role? If you know this prior, you can learn the skills accordingly, right? If you, let's suppose you are today, you are going to learn driving a car, but you only learning driving a car only for driving purpose. But at the end, I am saying you have to drive this car in a race, in a rally. Will you be able to, or you will be stuck at some point because you have not done those skills, which is required in racing, right? So that's what my idea is. If you are aware that, yes, I have to run my car into a race or if I have to do a race after learning driving. So I learn it accordingly for race purpose, right? So that's the idea. So I just want to get your understanding on this, what you all guys think, what will be your work once you become digital marketer? Quickly, give me in the chat box. Okay, Mayuk is saying to know the end use of any product gives us the advantage, absolutely. Generate the leads, more and more traffic, okay? To increase reach for your business, which ultimately result in the increase of company's profit, okay? So one is said, generate leads. Another one said, Pallavi said, increase reach for the business. What about everyone else? What they think about? Quickly, guys, we have to end this session on time. So need your quick responses so that I'll be able to make it on time. Wasim, Pallavi only answered, rest of others. Arva, we have to, you not have to write so much big answers. You can just write it down in a single word or two words or three words, which can take, which can make it more quicker. We have to give information regarding particular products through digital marketing to the people. Okay, growth, my business. Okay, lead generation, maximum conversions. Okay. Be innovative for customer, for their growth or for self growth. Okay. Understood. Business growth. Fine. So you people can keep guessing on. Let me just create it for each one of you in between. So right now we are just learning to understand how this industry works and what will be the required result, expected result, which people expect from you. Whether you are a freelancer, your client will come to you and ask you to do this and that for my business. Right. Similar way, any company hiring you, they give you the time that in three months we have to reach at that level and you have to tell me what will be the way to reach at this level. And you have to create a strategy to reach at this level. Similar way for your business, you also aim for a result that in next three months, I have to grow my business. So I also have to go ahead and have to plan out all these things. So how to build my brand, all these things you have to take care about. Right. So let's quickly understand about what will be the expected result, which people looking forward that you to produce for them. So. I believe each one can see my Microsoft document. If yes, quickly say yes. Perfect. 
Okay, so guys, when we are talking about expected results, so some of you said it's lead generation. So I completely agree. Yes, it is one of the job role in this industry, and it is one of the major job role in this industry, right? So everyone or anyone who is looking to hire you in the industry, they must look forward that you will be the someone who can help you to acquire more and more customer, right? So I can just write it down here, lead generation or customer acquisition. So it will be a complete job role in the industry. If you're not aware, most of the organization just do digital marketing to generate leads. They don't do any other things, right? But this is not the right way, right? They generate leads, that is the one way. What will be the second most required objective in the market? What is the most demanding thing in the market that people come to you for or people hire you for? People hire you for brand building through digital marketing. Or you can say awareness. Right? They want their brand to be aware across the domain, across the industry, among all those people who are actually interested in those services or to create a future market event, right? What will be the third most, what do you think? After generating leads, after building brand, what more can expect? Revenue generation, right? So this is the something, yes, sales, of course. So people are there, people in, in this industry, there are some of the organization who only run on revenue generation. They don't run lead generation campaigns. They don't run brand building campaigns. They only run revenue generation campaigns, right? To generate maximum revenue for their company. And last one is something I believe which you guys not heard about much. It is something you experienced. Every one of you experienced it but you not have heard about this job role. This job role is online reputation management. Have you experienced that Ola, Zomato, Uber, these kind of company, when someone experienced bad services from them, they post on social media and immediately they got the response from these organization. Whenever any negative talks happening around the industry, around the, any social channels, about these companies or about any company who is working on this ORM, then they are very active on that and they immediately take care of the issue that particular person is facing and they resolve it then and there because their audience is mass and everyone is looking at those companies' responses and how they respond to this particular like situation. So if they're taking care of it very good, if they're caring about their customer, then definitely they're considered as a good brand. They grow more in terms of gaining the, uh, you can say trust of their customers. So ORM is something where they have complete teams who will be taking care of their online reputation. And there are a job role with people are just taking care of online reputation of the organization, right? Which includes your PR as well, right? So they do PR as well. They take care of online reputation as well. So all these things through digital platforms, right? So these are the major four job roles which are available in the industry, right? So even if you are running a business, investing in one of the thing is not the solution. You have to invest accordingly what your brands need at this time. So let's say today you don't have much of leads. You have to generate leads, right? While leads are generating, but you're not able to convert them more you have to convert them more. Why you're not able to convert them? Maybe your brand is not that strong in the market. So you have to spend on the brand awareness as well. You have to work on brand as well. Then you have a revenue generation might be possible. Your revenue generation techniques are not that good. So you have to identify those things. Your product may have need some improvement for revenue generation. So you will identify that and you will be working on that. So all these things, areas are something which people expect from you as a digital marketer. If you are a freelancer, company will come to you and ask you these services. They ask you to either generate customers for them or increase visitor on their website or like build their brand, like make their brand famous, run the Facebook, Insta campaign for them, all these things, right? 
so moving forward once now we all understood what people expect from me it is clear to each one of you now quick response understood ke liye ud if you understood just write ud right so if you understood what will be the major job role in the industry write ud perfect so each one of you understood what are all job roles are there in the industry moving to the next part now you as you aware that what will be the job role in the industry people hire for now we have to understood how we achieve these things and what help me to achieve this thing so if i have to generate leads what will i do if i have to build a brand what i need to do if i have to generate revenue what kind of things i can do or what platform i should learn so right now first we talk about the platform so guys just quickly guess in the chat box for lead generation what are the platforms i need to use okay google ads so i can say search engine marketing so search engine marketing is something which covers your advertisement on all search engine so it includes your google ads and your bing ads bing is not that much famous but yes still there is some percentage who search on bing right what will be the next things social media instagram fb people are saying yes absolutely social media marketing there you cover your various social media through which you generate the leads like your linkedin you have a insta you have a fb and there are etc right there are various platforms available you just have to figure it out first where your audience is available based on that you have to target the particular sms doesn't come into this and the sms is not the way to generate lead similar way email marketing is also not the way to generate leads why because when you call someone a lead lead is something you have the detail from so let's suppose you are avinash or you are tushar so until unless tushar not given me email id i cannot say that i have a lead of tushar so once tushar give me email id then tushar is already a lead for me right so email marketing i can do on my leads but how can i generate the leads with until unless i don't have a email id i cannot do email marketing and once i have a email marketing that means i already acquire a lead in a form of email right i asked for a email from tushar somewhere on my website or some else somewhere else so where tushar given me email id so i generate that email id from some of the source so that particular source is called as a lead generation platform through which source i generate the lead of tushar got it so email marketing is not lead generation tool or as per ethical marketing you cannot send email or sms to someone who not subscribed on your platform right those cold emails is not something so inquiries generation through website yes you can say this someone given you email id on some blog or some website then you can send them email so the source of generation lead is your website where that person find your website either through google or through social media or through other modes right through google ads facebook ad or one of the effective way is also search engine optimization it's also comes under search engine but it's not search engine marketing it's search engine optimization right what is the different these are ads here you have to spend money this is not advertisement here you do not have to spend money let just see it with an example so let's say i am searching for a weight loss pills right i want to like let's say cut out my weight so if i just want to lose some of the weight what i'll do i'll go on google i don't want to do like so much of exercise or dieting i just want some pills which can help me to lose weight i'm searching for these pills like which can help me to reduce weight i'm putting on google that weight loss pills so what i am going to get all these companies which are displaying their advertisement to me right fat burners then your weight management supplement all these things are there right 
So this is one of the way to generate leads. So any person on the internet looking for weight loss pills, these companies are able to get leads of that person, right? I These people have the chances to acquire me as a lead, right? Second, what else? These companies also have the chances to acquire me as a lead. Either I click on these or I click on any of these results or I click on multiple results because I will check all of them, right? So all these companies have the chances to acquire me as a one of their leads. So these is sponsored. This particular thing is sponsored. Sponsored means these people are paying to Google to show them. So if they want to sell their, you can say pills, but they're not at good at SEO, what they can do? They can just spend money and generate traffic through this. Similar way, these companies, it is sponsored. So these companies are displaying their advertisement with images, with ranking, rating and everything. So these are also sponsored results, which can manage by Google ads. But these results are something which is not managed by Google ads. These results are organic results, which called as a search engine optimization, right? So let me just show you how it is important and how it is impactful. So this is one of the tool I am using right now, Uber suggests, which is helping you guys to find out how much traffic a particular website is getting. So this is something which is not sponsored, right? This website is getting estimate visits. Can you see here? Estimate visit of 1,40,000 approximately, right? 1,38,900. So we can say, let's say 1,40,000 visitors they are getting without investing any rupee on Google ads, right? So they are getting 1,40,000. But let's suppose you are not good at SEO and you have to spend money on this keyword where your target audience is searching on the internet, weight loss pills. So someone is searching weight loss pills, Google is charging them 13 rupee 33 pesa per click. So let's say if one person is clicking on this link and visiting this website through ads, then these companies will be charged 13 rupees by Google. So let's say if we just multiply this 13 rupee 33 pesa into 140,000 people. So it is going to be about 18,66,000 rupees. So 18,60,000 rupees is something which you can save on a marketing budget. So this company is saving that much of budget, right? And they are getting enough of client out of this 1,40,000 visitors, which they require to generate revenue, right? So what do you think? So if you just invest your amount on Google ads, and if you're not focusing on SEO, what will happen? You only burn your amount in marketing, but yes, you gain the less profit, right? Even if you just focus on both of the things, you will get more clients, you will get more visitors, you will get like you grow multiply and you will burn less amount into marketing. I'm not saying you not have to do ads. You have to do ads. You will also do the ads because it is a time taking process to rank yourself here. It takes three, six months, but if you are a newly launched business, you can run ads and initially you can put money into ads to generate some revenue. And, but later on, for a longer term, you can focus on SEO as well, which can ultimately help you to grow more and multiply your growth, right? <clears throat> Similar way, if I talk about social media, over social media, you see various tour and travel. Like most, most of the time on social media, you will say, you will see leisure related product and services, which excites you, right? So you will see travel related, you will see fashion related over your Instagram, you click on that, they ask you your name, number, email ID, right? And that's it. Then you become a lead for them. Similar way, SEO I have shown you, SCM I have shown you, social media is something which you all have experienced through whenever you are scrolling through social media, you're scrolling through your reels or your stories, you must see some vacations related ads or some whatever your search nature is. So whatever your more search on your mobile phone or around your mobile phone, those things you will see as an advertisement and then you fill up the form, you become a lead for them, right? Moving forward for the brands, 
So now your guys, you your turn. So tell me, what is the particular platform you use for the brand building and awareness? Okay, website. But we have to make famous our website. Until unless we are not famous, if people know my, about my website, we are already famous, that means. So we have to make our website famous. So through which platform I make it? Okay. Yes. Social media. Okay, let me make it easy for you guys. You just have to guess. Guys, stop writing. And I now I'm going to say a single word. Just close your eyes for one second or two seconds and think about that particular word. So right now I am saying <clears throat> brand. When I say brand, you just have to write in the chat box. When I say brand, what comes first in your mind? Just write it down. When I say brand. Freelance. Okay. Influencer. Okay. Pepsi. Okay. After, after. Apple. Apple. Okay. Apple. Apple. Coke. Okay. Google. Samsung. Nike. Perfect. Stop it. So now, when I said brand, when you got this name in your mind, do you have the logo of these company also in your mind or no? Yes. Right. Why this happened? Because brand building is something where people target your virtual memory. Because all brand understand and every marketer understand it really well that visualization is the most or like longest lasting memory. So whatever you see, you can remember those particular things for maximum time. So when they run the brand management campaigns or brand awareness campaign, they just try to make sure that people looking at their brand, they remember this. And they never forget this. So that's why what they do, they most of the time for brand awareness, they use images and videos, right? Because they can display their logo here. So now you have to think about what are the platforms where you can use images and videos. So one of them is social media like Insta, right? Your FB and other platform. When I talk about similar way, let's say, I'll say Google. When I say Google, then over Google, again, I have search engine marketing. Search engine marketing. So in search engine marketing, there is some special kind of advertisement which people run for brand awareness. And those ads will be display ads, right? Also, those will be your, because in display ad, you can show your image and videos. And similar way, you also do shopping ads, right? In shopping ads also, you can display your images. So when I say this, let me just show you quickly here itself. So when I search for a weight loss pill, these are the display ad. Here I can show my image, here I can show my company name, right? So that is the one can help me to display my logo and my company name here. But these ads are not that comfortable in that particular area. I just see the website name or this particular description. I'll be attracted by this description here, not by the brand name or logo. But here I'll be like more interacting or more attracted towards their image. Yes, remarketing is also the brand building process. So remarketing usually people do to recall their brand name to their audience who already visited their website, right? So that's why we use display advertisement in remarketing. We do the remarketing over the social media platforms. Similar way, if I, let's say, move to this particular blog, I am reading a news on daily basis. I'm reading this website. So when I'm just scrolling through this website, what I'll see these advertisements. So these are something which are usually your display ads where you can display the name and the logo of your organization. 
right? But I believe right now you guys can see this ad, but this is not an effective ad. I will suggest why because it does not telling me anything. I'm not getting anything with the help of their images, right? So if I run, if I'm running campaign on this particular thing, I should run something which will be more effective, which can impact people in their mind for my brand where my name will be displayed, my logo will be displayed and people can get it easily that yes, this is the advertisement of this. They have this product. Okay, let's click and buy that product from this company, right? So they can have this kind of recall of brand in their mind once they see your logo, once they see a name of your brand, right? So right now it is, I didn't find it much effective. So let's just refresh this and see if there is any other that right now. Okay, now you can see Canon, right? So this is something where they are displaying their logo, where they are focusing first on their logo. Whenever, immediately when this ad pop up, my attention goes to Canon because I know Canon is a brand and Canon is putting impression again on me. And then I can see, okay, Canon have a known for cameras, but now there's something like printers or something they have. So I can click on this. I can visit their website and can check out that, right? So this is, this is also managed by Google ads. Now moving forward, what is the other way for brand building or awareness? In the first step, you guys suggested me email marketing, but here we can use email marketing. So let's say one person given me email ID on my blog. Now I have opportunity to send emailers to the person and tell me about my brand. Tell that person that, yes, we have achieved the highest placement ranking in last year. We have grown this kind of things. We have participation from across the world. I can build my brand through emails, right? Moving forward, revenue generation. So what do you think, guys? Like for revenue generation, what platform I'm going to use? Quick example. Okay, so I believe this is something very new to you guys. You're not able to so much of like relate with it. So let me just complete it for you. So revenue generation is most of the time you experienced already, but you are not that much right now able to recall those things. Why? Let me just share with you. Have you ever experienced while you scrolling your Instagram? You must have seen those advertisements, which are not talking about their brand or something. Only talking about the feature and offers. They're talking about you are getting four t-shirts in thousand rupees. You are getting this product along with this free gifts and all those things. You must be getting mobile phone covers with this customized prints and all. Click on link and buy your mobile phone cover right now. So most of the time you will see low ticket size amount product, which are available at 300, 400, that kind of amount. They are available on the social medias, or through the advertisement, they are selling low ticket size product. You just click on that, you made a purchase and that's it. Sale happened for them. They're not focusing on lead generation. They're not focusing on brand building. They're just fo focusing on somehow people click and buy their product. Let me also show you how their ad look like when I'm searching for, let's say again, weight loss pill. What I found on the internet, let's say, I'll searching on this, I have this ads, right? When I click on any of the ad, let's say I'll click on this particular advertisement. When I click this, what you can see in front of you? What is the biggest attention on this page? Can you guys just write me in the chat box? What will be the maximum attention where your attention is going? Offers per packs, offers, price, buy now, right? Right, because their sole purpose is not to teach people about their brand or company. Their sole purpose is you are getting one bottle, 240 tablets, 900 rupees, four rupee per tablet, buy it now. Their focus is three bottles packs. If you are purchasing, it will be 1800. You save 900, buy it now. That's it. Their focus is not on all other things. They are doing, however, they are giving their reviews here for building a brand, but they are, they don't, they don't want to person to stay here and research or like spend like, let's say 
one week on buying these pills. They just want person to keep their attention on buy it now and make it purchase. Right? Yes, this is something they are focusing on because they are major focusing on sales should happen. Because they are selling something which can easily buy by those people who passionately looking to lose the weight. I can spend 900 to lose or getting 240 tablets. I can just try it for two months, right? So if I have this kind of like short, you can say low ticket size product, I can focus on revenue generation as well, that as much as people click on ads and they make sure they purchase. So for this, I can use Google ads, especially Google ads, I have just shown you, I can just copy it from here, the search engine marketing, where I'm just putting my focus over shopping ads, right? I run the shopping ads, similar way, I'll do social media where I'll run Insta and Facebook ads, <clears throat> right? And also one of the way is email marketing, right? Through email marketing, what can be done? Let's say you have purchased something through Amazon. Let's say I bought a printer of Canon. I have just shown you through Amazon. So what Amazon can do with my email ID, Amazon not, not going to call me, right? What they do, they send me an email after one month, buy A4 sheets, buy printer cartridge, right? Because anyone who is using printer, they must need cartridge and they must need A4 sheets, right? So if I need this, if Amazon is sending me an email on the right time that I'll click on this, I found that yes, my cartridge is low, my A4 sheets are about to like finish or you can say about to use all of my A4 sheets, then I'll just order it in advance, right? I'll do that. So this is one of the way that Amazon can generate revenue from me as a existing customer also. Okay, so for revenue generation, what are you think? Like what will be the platform guys quickly guess in the chat box? We have discussed this already initially. So one of them is social media, which includes your all the social media channels. And another one is review sites. Yes, email is also one of them through email. You can build your brand. You can like ask people what issues they have faced. You can take care of their issues as well as immediately as they are pointing it out. So these things you can do it. YouTube also comes under Google ads, right? So in brand building, we can put it there. YouTube ads where you can see like, or for lead generation also, you can use Google ads. In Google ads, you can run the ads on YouTube also with the help of this Google ads, right? So for lead generation also, I'm writing it separately for you guys, but yes, it comes under Google ads only, right? So you can do this or yes, you can like for revenue generation, I might not say prefer or prefer it much, but yes, you can do it through this, right? So I hope now you guys are aware that what will be the way and what will be the platform that you will be using for all these objective. So can I say that each one of you now understood how to produce or work for a client on all these objectives? Perfect. Can I say that yes, each one of you now can focus on the learning required for these objective. So throughout your journey, you will be focusing on all these things, which is again, at the end, going to help you to learn something which is meaningful and which is required in the industry, right? Which people actually demand for. Perfect. So if you understood this part very well, that what will be your job and how will you achieve those results? If you understood this particular thing, just give me UD in the comment. Quickly, guys, do it fast. Perfect, guys. So I can understand, yes, each one of you is good at this. Now moving forward to talk about what will be the right way to become someone who can actually take care of all these things. We just talked about once you become digital marketer, then you do all this, right? 
But now let's talk about the journey toward become that effective person. How you all become that effective digital marketer who can produce results all around here, right? For this, I am moving to the next slide, which is right structure to learn digital marketing. Here, I'll be talking about five steps that you guys can see in front of you. First step is insightful learning here, right? So what is the insightful learning and learning difference? Difference between both is learning is something I came, I started to teach you what digital marketing is, how it like how to do this, right? And insightful learning is I came here and first I made you understand what exactly you need to understand what exactly this industry is, what exactly people expect from you, what exactly people want to see in you as a skills once you become a digital marketer. So first you understand the what of anything. So let's say today I'm teaching you SEO or Google ads. So when you are learning Google ads, when you are learning SEO, if I just came in the class and start teaching you how to run ads, that is something only learning. But when I came and I say, how Google works, how Google give rankings, how Google provide opportunities to different businesses to rank in their ecosystem, how their algorithm works. So if I'm giving you that understanding, so you will be more aligned toward that platform. And once you're more aligned toward that platform, you can produce better results, right? So if you know each like function of each part in your car, if you know how to use clutch properly, how to use like, and what is the clutch is responsible for? What is the brake is responsible for? What is the combination of clutch, accelerator and brake is responsible for? Then life of your car will be much higher than if you are using it without knowing it, right? So if you're not using your clutch and all the things properly, if you only know that how to use it, if you don't know what it is responsible for, you may put some more pressure on your car to make it or that will not, you can say that will need mechanic soon. But if you're using it everything properly, if you know, if I do this, that impact the engine of the car, if I don't use it like in a proper way. So that's what the understanding is. If you know that what the platform is and then you are learning it, how to use it, then you can use it more precisely. You can use it more beautifully to produce better results, right? With your learning, you guys will be also going to go and do practices with each of your learning. So for an example, let me just quickly show it here. So what will be happening? You will be doing a five months of training program where in first three months, this first three months is something where you will be learning all this topic insightfully, your digital marketing, web development, SEO, search engine marketing, Google ads, your email marketing, inbound marketing, social media, e-commerce, Quora, online reputation management, your integrated marketing communication or integrated digital marketing strategy, which is helping you to create a 360 degree plan for a business. So let's suppose if you are a business owner, if you want to grow to the management profile, if you want to go to the strategist as a digital marketer, then people won't come to you and tell you what to do. People will expect you to create a strategy for the business. So let's suppose I'm an owner of a business and if I hire you as a strategist, so I won't ask you that you should do this and that. I'll just say in three months, I have to achieve this. I am giving you this 50,000 rupee monthly budget to spend on social media. How will you spend? That's your call, but you have to give me this result. So then you are the responsible to create a 360 degree plan for a business that how much you need to spend on lead generation, how much you need to spend on like brand building, how much you need to invest on the other platforms, right? And then you have to find out a way which will be helping you with the maximum ROI. Right. So how to create those kind of plans will be covered in this particular session, integrated digital marketing strategy. You will learn your graphic designing automation, how to automate most of your tasks in digital marketing domain, resume creation and all these are also some of the learning you will get in the program. So in three months, you will be working, learning all these particular topics. Once you learn all this topic, 
along with your learning. So let's say today you have a class, you learn website development. So what will happen? You will get an assignment of website designing. So that means, so for a whole week till the, your next class is, you will be working on this particular assignment. You will be getting a step-by-step -step approach to do that assignment. And you will be performing that live and you will be creating your own website. Yes, absolutely, Mayu. We will be providing you 100 hours plus learning total, right? So everything, no, everything become live. So don't worry about it. Everything is going to be live. Digital marketing is not that big in terms of topic if I talk about. If you guys need to learn Google Ads, Google Ads you guys can learn in two to four hours or in two to six hours. But what is the main thing is there? The practices. So why we have a four session on Google Ads? For four session, why we have on Google Ads? Because we have to teach you how to do it practically, how to perform it practically, right? So we are not just teaching theory here. It is going to be a practical learning. So that's why it is more than enough what you will be learning in your classes. So when I talk about it will be three, three hour of classes. So total, every particular platform you will be learning precisely and you will be doing it practically throughout your training program, right? So you easily can learn it in three months and practice everything in three months. So let's suppose today I learned about SEO. I have to practice SEO. I'll get an assignment on this. I write a topic. I will try to rank it on Google. I'll put all my like required strategy or implement it in SEO. No, this will be done after each class, right? So let's say for an example, today you have attended one class, which is on web development. So in three hours of class, let's say you all learn about how to create a particular website. Trainer is teaching you with step-by-step -step learning that how to create a website. Then trainer is going to give you an assignment through which you guys have to follow those steps and create your own website. Then you have to give this assignment to your trainer and trainer will give you a feedback on this that yes this is right or what mistakes you have done throughout it right so after every class you will have an assignment or in every module you will have an assignment to perform on those particular skills so when you're learning google ads you will get an assignment on google ads when you're learning seo you will get an assignment on seo so you will do it along with the learning not after three months because there is no point that today we are teaching and you are practicing those things after three months, right? So if you do side-by-side -side learning, then you able to like memorize those things better and you can perform those things better. And along with your course, you can just try to optimize those things and make it more effective for yourself, right? Then in first three months, you will learn all these things, all these topics, plus you will also learn your you will also practice on all these tools. So let's say while you're learning SEO, so all these tools you will be working upon and you perform your assignments using all these tools. Similar way, when you're running your website, you will be working on these tools through your website. When you're doing your SCM Google Ads, you'll be working on these tools. So all these things will be covered throughout that particular module. Moving forward, once you learn everything insightfully, you practice it for three months. In three months, now you have learned most of your topics, you practice them, and you are also aware that what are the topics you are very strong and confident, and what are the topics that you are not much confident, right? What are the topics where you need more and more practice to make yourself effective on those, right? Because you only aware about those things once you practice. So this is the whole idea to help you. I have few questions, just I'm taking it right away. Is this tools available for Mac? Yes, it is available on all the platforms. So don't worry. Any notes will be provided. These assignments will be assessed by the trainers itself. Will there be any doubt clearing session or mentor? Yes, all classes will be live and you also can have a separate session with trainers by requesting it, right? You just have to ask trainer that yes, for the timing you have to match with the trainer. Yes, trainer will give you the time that yes, then we can have a discussion and can solve it.
any notes will be provided yes you will get your ppts your pdfs everything is this tools available for my tools premium will be given by you or i have to purchase most of the time throughout the practices whatever you need we will be providing it whatever tool you need we will be providing you not have to purchase it separately if mrs live class recording will be there yes all classes are going to be recorded so if you miss any of the class it will be available to watch as a recording later right also you have the option to reschedule or ask for a, another schedule so let's suppose today you missed the social media class so you can also ask that i want to reattend it live so can you give me next dates of social media class so i can join that right recorded session will be available yes for every class the recording class will be there yes there are various tools and alternative you will be informed for that what which you can use but yes if you are using it for your organization using it for yourself you have to buy those tools after the course right but yes there are certain tools which are lifelong free which you can definitely use <clears throat> tools will be there till the five months completion yes most of the time when you practicing tools will be there but after that you have to manage the tools for let's say if i am learning something i'll get practiced on it once i get a job in some companies i don't think i need a tool from institute company will purchase and give me that tool by like buying it right similar way if i am running my business i am working on my project i am running or investing in my project so that is the investment you are doing for yourself in future if you are producing results who all are in your faculty you have a various different trainers who are definitely heading the digital marketing agency with past 8 to 10 years they are working in digital marketing domain from 10 to 12 years also like there are trainers from india from outside india as well even from different part of the india right so you will learn by the various different trainers who are well established in digital marketing domain with over 8 to 10 years of experience will everyone get the project after 3 month yes you all are eligible for getting this internship so i am coming on that particular part right now so let's move to the right structure again insightful learning then life practices and the third thing is portfolio building right because how many of you think that if you learn the things insightfully and if you practice you will get a job and you will achieve your objective how many you think like this can i have a quick confirmation yes or no if you learn and practice everything you will get a job okay so people who saying no i am with them you know why because right now industry is very smart think like a business person so let's say if you are a business owner guys and if you have to hire someone in your digital marketing team what will you do if you are a client and if you need a freelancer for digital marketing what will you do you will not going to write you will not just ask the person that you learned everything you practice everything okay do my work you not going to do like this what will happen instead you will ask the person have you created something before do you have any prior experience of doing the things and if the person show you that portfolio that yes i have done all these things i have produced all these results then you will be giving confidence to the other person yes you are eligible for this job right so this portfolio is important people see your portfolio then they hire you so this is the most important thing that you have to go through and you have to work upon through your project so after 3 months we will be giving a 2 month of paid internship to each one of you right you all are eligible for this and the best part this 2 month of paid internship is in flexible hours you not have to give your 9 to 5 every day we know that some of you are working some of you are like going to your institutions like doing your colleges and all still you guys are eligible for this internship you can do this internship from your home without visiting our office and without even 9 to 5 fixed hours you can do it whenever you have the time so let's suppose you are available on sundays you are available on saturdays you are available on after 5 pm every day so you can give your times to that internship there will be 6 to 8 projects you have to do during that internship and those projects will take about your 2 hours daily right so you can expect 2 hours every day if you are giving to that internship you will be able to do it in next 2 month so by giving 2 hours daily you can perform that internship and you will be working on those projects and you will be doing two things one you will be getting your portfolio built 
and second you will be getting your stipend of 6000 rupees in your account so whatever you pay as a fees you can minus 6000 out of it right yes absolutely when you are going as a fresher it's something which can give confidence to your like other person that yes you have previously worked on this right so these are more than enough these projects will give you that confidence even and those kind of results which you can show in your portfolio what will you say if you going as a fresher in the industry or you will go as a person who has some results on paper or in a practical life show people that yes this is the article written by me ranking on google first page you are showing that to the person and then person hiring you right so this is something which gives confidence to other person that yes you are eligible for this particular profile and they hire you moving forward if i'll talk about job freelance opportunity that through our platform itself and we have 350 plus placement partners who help our student to get hired in various different brands so if i'll if i show you guys that what are the what are the corporate customer where people from i am skills are working so you have you just name any company you will found that our students are working in all those companies right so we have our 350 plus placement partners who is going to help you our student in getting the jobs apart from it we have our own job portal after completion of your course you guys are eligible to apply your jobs through here and can get the job in as per your requirement if you need in madhya pradesh you can apply for this job if you need in delhi you can apply for this job so there are various options available either you can apply through directly portal or you can just connect with one of our placement partners in your city who can help you to get your job into your industry into your location two months total 6000 rupee is the internship what type of job will be better in agency or freelance it's up to you how you choose your job location or your job preferences average salary in job it is between 3.5 lakh to 5 lakh for average people or for a freshers right people with experience or different skill set can expect based on their experience and skill set so there are student who are getting a job at a 8 lakh 9 lakh there are experienced professional who are just up skilling themselves so let's say i am a person who is a 15 years of experience in sales and marketing if i am looking for a job after learning digital marketing so what will i do i cannot change my profile overnight i cannot someone who can just learn a 3 month course and expect a 20 lakh rupees of package if right now i have a 18 lakh of package what can i do more i can just learn digital marketing can look for the company who are rapidly growing with the help of digital marketing i can work there as a similar role i can work as a sales and marketing specialist there with addition of digital marketing skills in my profile because in today's time you are working with any company they just don't hire you based on your traditional marketing skills and sales skills they must look forward if you have digital marketing related understanding or skills to make their platform grow better or to perform their company better over the digital medias as well so if you are someone who is looking to achieve that kind of package after certain years of experience then you have to give some time to industry with your current skill set in your current role an addition of digital marketing can lead you after some of your like slowly gradually you can move to completely into digital marketing head position at a higher or similar packages right so what support will you provide after 5 months so after 5 months we will be giving you job and freelancing both opportunity we make whatsapp group for our student where we post the freelancing project and they can bid for that you will learn how to crack your freelancing projects also like how to use fiverr how to use upwork all these things how to like gain your freelancing project with the help of that plus you will also learn how to create your own digital marketing agency how to create your own digital marketing portfolio to get into freelancing of digital marketing to fetch your customer by using or performing digital marketing on your own portfolio can i set up my career in digital marketing without any prior background in marketing yes definitely you will learn everything from scratch here will you teach how to get freelancing project yes is i am skill certificate knowledge by mnc is absolutely we have maximum participation after india 
from UAE, Singapore, Australia, Canada, US, and European countries like Germany, Italy. There are various countries, like these are the countries we have the maximum participation after India. So you definitely our institution or our certification consider across the world because you will be rewarded with the certification like Google, Meta, HubSpot, IM skills. So all those certification are internationally recognized. So you will learn all those things which are actually valid in the industry and internationally recognized. Digital marketing be good for me. I have an experience as a manual tester and changing. It's up to you, Pallavi, like what kind of transition you are looking forward, right? So definitely digital marketing is good field to grow. You can grow multiple in this. Linux is okay for all practical learning or Windows. See, you just not required anything to install in your laptop. You just need Zoom to be installed in your laptop. Rest all the things will be done through your Chrome browser. You use all the tools as a web app web app tools so you have to open certain website then you will use the tools right so it is not something which is required to install online on linux or mac or like your windows so all the tools you can use on any platform so no restrictions are there okay so moving forward guys so i'm just coming on the part you've done all these four steps so now fifth step is there upscaling so let's say you all guys are become digital marketer. You guys have learned everything. You have achieved your job. You have got your freelancing client, everything you got. So why we have an upskilling option there? Can anyone guess why we have this option? Why you need to care about upskill in this industry? Quick replies. Absolutely, Pallavi. So this industry is something which is most evolving industry. So today you learn something after three months or six months, you can say change is happening in the industry. So if I'll just show you with the help of an example by writing it here, how many times Google and all their platform change their search algorithms. Search Search algorithms are something which are responsible for the search over Google. So whenever Google change any result or any algorithm, it impacts the search result also. So it is written here 500 to 600 times each year, but there are some of them, like one or two are the major one, right? That's somewhere between once and twice each day, which perform not, don't significant change anything, but some updates are significant and may change the SEO results, right? So you, that's why you need to care about. Let's suppose today you are ranking here, but if you're not updating yourself as per the industry and Google change their algorithm, if you don't learn all those things, so what will happen? Maybe next time you won't be here and you're losing all those one like 40,000 customers searching for weight loss pills, right? So you don't want to miss out that opportunity. That's why you have to keep learn the latest trends or latest things happening around the industry in digital marketing. And that's how digital marketing works. And to help you guys, we are giving you a lifetime access. So that means whatever you learn today, you will learn it and perform. But after five years down the line, after two years down the line, whatever new things are there, you also can learn without paying any extra amount. So for an example, we started our institute in 2015. People joined us in 2015. They done their courses at that time, but they have not learned certain topics at that time. That marketing automation we recently added we have recently added ai related tools so all those things those people still can learn they not have to purchase our course again today they just log in the course or their lms and they can access all the latest session recordings to access it right so this is what the total right structure to learn. So how many of you think like this is the actually right structure and can help you to learn better and perform better in the industry? Insightful learning, life practices, portfolio building, and then assistance for job and freelancing. And then you keep up the skill yourself lifelong. So you never get outdated. So LMS access is lifetime too. Yes, Aftab, LMS is accessible for lifetime. So can you just quickly help me to understand, do you believe that this is the right structure to learn or not? Can I have a quick yes or no, or agree or disagree, anything? You can write it here. 
perfect. We'll be able to connect to any mentor or someone for any guidance after the course. I mean, after some time. Yeah, you always open uh, Pallavi, so don't worry about it. You always welcome as a faculty. We always cater to our customer, no matter whether they completed the course or not. So even if you have completed the course, you still can reach out to your faculty to get any help. Perfect. So yes, it is actually, and it is proven because last year we have got highest placement record because we have followed this structure. And if you guys follow it properly, you're definitely going to get best results in digital marketing industry. Okay, so let's come to the last part where we'll be talking about AI. So I'm just navigating to this course. We have one course, digital marketing, which we are talking about right now. Another course we have, it is artificial intelligence marketing professional. So when I open this particular program, it will take you to this page. And the best part, what we are covering it here, it is a four weeks of program. It is available at a separate price of 25,000 plus GST. And the best part of this program is here you will learn all the AI tools which can help you to boost your productivity. So right now, let's say if you're creating a YouTube video for your company or for your channel in four days or five days, with the help of AI tools, you can make five videos one day, right? If you're looking to achieve some product launch in next three months with the help of AI tools, with the help of AI research tools, you can go and can achieve those things even faster. So you can actually make your company grow faster by making all the process faster. So how AI make those things faster, you will learn in this particular training program. Here you will have a Canva mastery, Pabli marketing automation, chat GPT for market research, predictive analysis. You have a website creation using AI, social media management using AI, AI based YouTube channel. So all these things you will be going to master in this particular program. You provide international business course. No, actually, like I don't understand your question even you provide international business course. I couldn't understand. Can you elaborate more? But we provide digital marketing, which you can learn for any business to run business internationally, domestically, or across digital or across the world, right? So in this particular program, you will learn all these tools in a four weeks of live training, and it will cost 25,000 plus GST separately. So what is here for each one of you? Let's come to the surprise part. So if I'll just move to the last slides of our training, then the course we have digital marketing master course, which we are just talking about this one, five months program, three months of training plus two months of your projects or your portfolio building. In this particular program, you will be having two batches. One is a weekday batch. Your classes on Tuesday and Thursday, 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. That means two days a week, 8 to 9.30. That means three hours a week. Similarly, if you do it on Saturday, it is same three hours a week, but it will be only on Saturday, 10 to one, right? So in weekdays, it is Tuesday, Thursday after office hours. So anybody who is working professional Monday to Saturday, they can do it in evening, eight to 9.30, Tuesday, Thursday. It's starting from 19 December. The other people who are available on Saturdays who don't want to invest after office hours, they can do it on Saturday morning, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., right? So this is starting from 16th of December. So these two batches we have right now for this particular program. And the fee for this program is 41,000, but right now it is available at a discounted fee of 29,000 plus GST. Total will be 35,282 rupees, including your GST part. So if I'll move on this slide again, then you can see the digital marketing master course 35282 plus AI based digital marketing course, which we launched this year. And that is again a one month of training for program, which is four Saturdays. It will be delivered and price will be 25 plus GST, which is again one month program. So five months of program in digital marketing, which include your internship as well. So let's say three months of digital marketing program, one month of AI program, total four months. Then you have a two month of paid internship, which gives you 6,000 rupees. So all three things you will be getting if you are enrolling today only at a price of 45,182 rupees. So that means 35,000 plus 29,000, 64,000, right? And at the end, you are getting 6,000. So total 70,000 of value you are just getting at a price of 
45,182. So you are paying 35,000 rupees for this course, but for AI course, you're not paying us 29,000. You're just paying us 9,000 rupees additional and getting this course as well, plus two months of paid internship, which gives you 6,000 at the end of the course, right? So I just request you, each one of you, yes, absolutely, you can update the course later as well. So I just request each one of you to share me which particular batch you guys are looking forward, weekdays or Saturdays. If you can just write in the chat box, in same price, yes, you are getting it at 45,000 rupees, both the courses, AI plus Saturday, or AI plus digital marketing, your traditional course, both the courses available at the same price, 45,182. So I'm just giving you the link to pay that particular fees. So the people who are looking to enroll in recent patches in 16th and 19th, they can just simply go on this particular link and can make their registration. This is the link guys, I have just sent you in the chat box. You can make your fee payment here. Yes, three hours in a week will be your live class. Then you have six to eight hours a week of your practicals, your assignments. Right, so total eight to nine hours you have to give as a student in completing your course. If I choose AI later on, will this cost me same? No, if you just choose digital marketing course now, and if you don't choose AI, AI separately people are registering at a price of 29,000 plus GST. So which is approximately is going to be your uh, which is approximately is going to be your like 35,282, right? So this is the registration price for registering yourself on this particular like fees. Total fee is going to be 45,382 rupees for both the courses, right guys? So I am giving you a different link which can help you to go ahead and enroll in both the courses AI plus digital marketing both the course at 45,000 rupees. Just give me a second guys. Yes, it will be. No, actually, Pallavi, if you are enrolling for AI codes, then it will be costing you about 29,000 rupees separately later, right? And if you are paying it now, you will be paying 29,900 plus GST, 35,000 rupees for the course, which is your digital marketing course, and 9,900 for the course, which is your AI course. So total, you will be paying 45,282 rupees.
okay so guys this is the link which i am sharing you right now here you can make your registration including ai and digital marketing both at a discounted fee which i have just showing you here this one right so digital marketing course worth 35000 plus ai course worth 29000 plus two month of internship 35 plus ai 9900 and total is 45182 you can pay it here AI batch timing is going to be your Saturdays. It will be 10 to 12 on every Saturday for four weeks. Sure, Pallavi, my one of colleague can help you to go ahead and make your enrollment in the same. So you can connect with that person and that person can help you. No, it is only delivered on Saturdays. So you can choose your Saturday. If you're not available on this particular batch of Saturday, you can maybe go for a next Saturday's batch. But AI right now is only scheduled to deliver on Saturdays, right? So, perfect. So guys, that's all for the today's session. I am just giving you the link again. You can bookmark this link to complete your fee payment on the discounted price that I have given you, right? And can enroll yourself for the given batch either weekdays or saturdays whichever you opted for okay mangesh is saying after internship will you provide placement of course mangesh we have just shown you in the session all the things that yes you will be eligible for a hundred percent placement assistance to our 350 plus placement partners and our own job portal so we have both the options available you can reach for and can apply your jobs for so that means we have to give six hours in a week. Yes, you have to give six to eight hours in a week to complete your assignments plus learning. How the exams conducted for the certification, everything remain online. You don't have to come anywhere. We will be giving you the link of uh, giving your exam and you just have to give your exam on that link. Sir, AI plus digital marketing classes will be there on weekend batches also, right? Digital marketing course will be available on both the batches, weekdays, Tuesday, Thursday, 8 to 9.30. And AI is available only on Saturdays for now. After time bond, I have given it already, like you have to give six to eight hours a week. Timing for AI batch on Saturdays, it's 10 to 12, two hours. If someone chooses Saturdays for normal classes, then how will we attend AI class? It's after your course. I told you three months of digital marketing, then two months of internship and AI. So three months plus one month, four months of training on Saturdays and then two months of internship. Got it, Viren? What if somehow we fail to pass the exam? You can re-attempt the exam. We have the option. You can re-attempt it without any extra cost. Only practical exam will be there. Theory will not include. Yes, most of the time it will be MCQ based questions you have to give on exam, even all the platform. Whether you give a Google exam or you give a Facebook exam or you give a IM skills exam, all will be as a MCQ type. Exam time bound, if I talk about, see, it will be enough. So you have to give answer. It is different in each of the exams. So sometimes you have a 20 exam questions in one, you can say, let's say 20 exam question you have to give in one hour times you will be getting or somewhere you'll be getting 40 questions in one hour but those are manageable right you easily can do it can we later shift from weekday batch to weekend yes you all have this opportunity let's say today you are starting is one of the batch which is suits you but later on you have some unseen circumstances came on or you want to shift your batch from weekday to saturdays or saturday to weekdays you can do that you have those options available right but what we recommend, whenever you shift, just try to shift after a module completion. So let's say you are doing social media. So after you complete all the social media classes, then look for shifting, right? Don't do it in between. Otherwise, your like, schedule will, like you can say, disrupt. Perfect, guys. So can I have a... Certification exams are included in course. Yes, you not have to pay any other certification exam. Yes, there is a one certification exam you have to pay, which is for Meta, for Google, right? Where you just have to pay only like $75 for that particular exam. That will be the EMI with 
fee, new fee structure. So you have two options for EMI. One, for credit card EMIs. If you own any credit card, you just have to pay through credit card and your EMIs will be done on your credit card company and you will get interest waiver from us. So let's say if you're paying 45,000 through credit card, it will be 15 to 16,000 rupees per month. Some thousand to 1200 rupees your bank will charge you as a EMI interest. So those interest 1200 rupees we will be giving in your account, whatever the like EMI interest amount, we will be giving that back to your credit card, right? Second option is you can choose to go with Bajaj Finance, where we have the Bajaj, if you had own any Bajaj Finance card, or there is a very simple process where you have to give us three, four documents. And within 15 minutes of time, we can help you to understand whether you will be getting approved for Bajaj EMIs or not. And in Bajaj EMIs, you can pay the total 45,000 rupees of fees in seven EMIs, right? So that will be loan process, loan done by Bajaj, and you won't be charged any interest on that. Same amount, 45,000 divided by seven EMIs. One EMI as a down payment, six EMIs from next month onward for next six months, right? So somewhere around 6,000 rupees or 6.5 thousand you will be paying every month. <clears throat> Perfect guys. So I hope you found this particular session well. So if you have not answered till now, which particular batch you want, so you can just answer right now which particular batch you want. Otherwise, you can just give me the feedback on this session. How was this session? And can leave the session. Any installment payment option? I just told you about the installment option through credit card or through like Bajaj Finance. Both the options are available. You can connect with the, your counselor for other help, right? See, after usually we do not offer any EMI from our side. We only have the partners for the EMI, right? Okay, thanks, Viren. Thanks, Arti. Okay, Wasim. Perfect. Weekday batch is starting from 19. Okay, Pallavi. Sure. So, guys, I'm just looking forward to your feedback on this session. How's the session? And if you really liked it, just give me a thumbs up and then we can end this particular session. Wasim is saying the session was really effective and knowledgeable. Thanks, Wasim. Shreya is for weekday batch. Okay, Shreya, my team will contact you for the same. Or you can just complete your enrollment on the link given by me. You can just make your enrollment on the same. Giving the link again as it moves upward in the chat. Okay, guys, thanks. Thanks for your time, guys. Thanks for joining me and giving your precious one and a half hour. Looking forward to see you in the training program and achieving your objective with the help of iron skills. Perfect. Thanks, Pallavi. Thanks, Veronica. Thanks, Wasim. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day. Have a great week ahead. And good luck to you guys. Bye.